Hey guys, TechGirl88 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install Ubuntu on your Chromebook C7 10, and it should also work on the C720, although in this video I'm going to be doing this on the C710, which is of course an Acer Chromebook. Um, I've done a previous video on this particular subject um, where basically we first we started with um, putting the Chromebook into developer mode and then we installed Ubuntu on it um, using Crewbuntu. Um, in this video what's going to be different is we aren't we're going to be still putting it into developer mode but we're going to be installing Ubuntu on here using Crouton which is a different uh, way of doing it and it seems like a, a safer way than the previous way so if you had problems with the previous way in the previous video um, go ahead and try this and hopefully it'll work for you now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back up any data you have on the computer because as I mentioned we're going to be putting it in developer mode when we do this it's going to erase all of the data on your computer on your Chromebook um, so if you have any documents, pictures, videos, etc. on here, you're going to want to back that up. Very important because there's nothing worse than, you know, losing uh, uh, photos that are important to you or whatever else. Um, the second thing is you're going to want to make sure you're either plugged in to your AC adapter or you have a completely charged battery for your Chromebook because this process is going to take a bit of time and you're probably going to deplete your battery pretty well if you you know, end up having it not plugged in. So as you can see, I have 86%. That should be plenty. Um, you know, as long as you're somewhere above 80%, you should be good, unless it's a really lengthy uh, process for your particular Chromebook. Um, the next thing is you're going to want to make sure you have a good internet connection. So if you're in a place where internet's slow, you might want to, you know, go to a, uh, a faster place like a library or whatever other kind of place. Um, so now that we know all these things, let's go ahead and install Crouton on the Chromebook. Alright, so to get into recovery mode, the first thing we need to do is we need to press the escape and refresh keys on our Chromebook, which in this case is going to be F3 and the escape key. I'm going to press those together and then we're going to press the power button. press the power button again while holding those two keys still and it's gonna say it's missing or damaged it's no big deal um, this just means it's in recovery mode so we press uh, enter and as it says it's going to clear all of the data on the machine And now we just wait for it to boot up. Um, might take a couple of minutes, so just be patient. As you heard a couple of seconds ago, it started beeping, and that's completely normal. So it's transitioning to developer mode. As I said, it's going to take a little bit of time, so right now I'm going to pause the video right here until it boots into developer mode fully. Now real quick, I just want to show you at the top, as you can see, it gives you an idea of how long it's been uh, running this command, and then also how much longer it anticipates. So it's telling us it's going to take about three minutes, um, so not too bad. So as I said, just be patient. I'm going to pause the video again right here. And as you can see, it's rebooted. Alright, so after the uh, developer mode is enabled and everything's installed, you're going to be greeted with your uh, usual Chromebook welcome screen. Um, here you're going to select your network to connect to. And then from there, you're going to continue on with the normal setup.
and go through all these prompts. And here you're going to just sign in with your uh, normal Google account. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download the actual uh, Crouton installation files. And I'm going to post a uh, link to this uh, installation download page in the uh, description below the video. But for now, we're just going to Google Kubuntu download. Oh, all these plugins want to install that I have for Chrome. Okay. Now, what we need to do here is we need to make sure that this is in the download folder on your Chromebook. And if it's not, move it there. So, it downloaded there, so we're good to go there. So, now that we've gotten that, we're going to start the terminal on our Chromebook. And the terminal, if you've ever used Ubuntu or Linux, is basically a command line, like on Windows. So for doing that, we're going to press Control Alt and T. Um, so then we'll type shell. Do on the next. What we're going to do is type in the command to install Crouton on this uh, Chromebook. So we're going to type sudo sh e downloads and then hit enter and I'll be putting this command in the description below. As you can see, it's going to check all of the uh, the file that was downloaded. And it's going to start installing Ubuntu uh, 12.4. It should be on this uh, Chromebook, and it'll take a while. So again, be patient. Make sure you have your Chromebook plugged into a power adapter or fully charged. So I'm just going to pause it right here and resume the video once this installation process. Uh, completes. Alright, so now it's been probably about 30 minutes and we're greeted with this prompt to specify a username for the primary user. Um, so just type your name or whatever you want your username to be. It's also going to ask us for a password, so again, whatever you want your password to be. And it's going to ask us to re enter that password. Alright, now that the installation process is complete, we're going to type in, we're going to again open the terminal by 
pressing Control Alt and T. And we're going to type in shell. And we're going to type in sudo start unity. sudo start fce4. All right, so as you can see, uh, Unity didn't work um, because Unity was not installed uh, when we installed Crouton in Ubuntu. But XFCE4, which is this, did install. And in all honesty, I would recommend this above Unity because Unity tends to run very sluggish on the Chromebook. Um, as you can probably see from previous videos that I've done, where I recommended that you install an alternative uh, such as this. Um, so here we have here we have uh, XFCE installed. So here we can see our devices and everything that's been downloaded. So at this point, we have uh, Ubuntu working on this machine. Um, we can install programs on it just as we would uh, with any other any other you know Linux machine. Um, same process. Now to get out of this and go back to using Chrome OS you're simply going to press control alt shift and back so control alt shift and back and as you can see it takes us out of here and we're right back to chrome os so that's that's one advantage of using crouton as opposed to crubuntu is that you can easily switch between chrome os and linux uh... so that that's pretty much it for this video um... in my next video i'll be showing you how to set up your new Crouton installation as far as installing programs, what programs I recommend, and that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. As always, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video.